this channel. My name is Maggie. I post weekly vegan recipes, adventures, vlogs, anything that I kind of want to share with you guys and also document for myself. So today I want to take you guys into my backyard and show you my gorgeous, gorgeous herb garden. There's some veggies and fruit in there as well. So without further ado, let's just jump into it in three, two, one. Welcome to my garden tour. I have three garden beds that I'm going to go over first. So in this first garden bed right here, it just started really growing in the past a month. And first up is my cucumbers. I have four bushes of cucumbers and they are, the flowers are just basically starting to bloom, but we are going to be swamped by cucumbers. So it's a good thing that we get along with our neighbors around here. So we will be those neighbors like, hey, do you want some uh, fresh cucumbers? Cause we already gave away some of our lettuce, but it's just, you know, always fun to give away some of your goodies. But yeah, so we have a bunch of cucumbers going on and then we have five tomato plants. This one right here is my favorite because they're the smaller tomatoes and they taste just like candy. My husband and I just actually picked our first two ones the other day and they are absolutely delicious. So much better than store-bought. And then right here we have some banana peppers that we actually just go ahead and toss into our tacos. And then this is a garden bed number two, which has a lot of greenery going on and more herbs and things like that. But here I was actually just trying to chase a little butterfly. Um, I was trying to get a close up. I'm just like obsessed with nature and beauty and insects and it's just, so beautiful. Anyways, um, so first up right here in the corner is mint, which is so refreshing, perfect for mojitos, perfect for lemon water. And then you just seen some strawberries, which I actually have to replant next year. Then I have some rosemary that, you know, we it's, it's growing, but it's not doing the best just yet. And then right here, it's oregano. Oregano comes back year to year. So do these chives. So I really enjoy doing um, herbs that grow year to year. Here we have some dill, which is amazing on potatoes. Speaking of potatoes, this right here, the three little bushes that you see um, are actually going to be potatoes and it's my first time ever trying to grow them. So we shall see. I'll keep you guys updated in a month as to how it goes and when I pick them, how it'll actually turn out. But here I have some cilantro and kale. The kale is so delicious. I just actually washed some and froze it because it's growing so abundantly that I don't want to waste it. So I just froze it and I'm going to use it for smoothies and perhaps some curry. And right here you see a lot of lettuce. Lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. It is so delicious. And this actually um, regrew itself from last year. So we planted it last year and we didn't even know that lettuce does that, but it does apparently. And it tastes better than it did last year, which is kind of surprising, honestly. And then the third garden bed right here is all about the flowers. So it kind of brings in all the dragonflies and bees and butterflies. So I really enjoy that. And that's two of my favorite flowers, which is marigolds because they are super easy to grow as well as sunflowers. Sunflowers are my top flower of all. They're beautiful, bold, yellow, and I just really, really love this flower. So if you know me, you should know by now, if you're ever gonna get me any type of flower, make sure it's sunflowers. Um, but as you can see, there's a bunch of honeybees on that on them and I just really enjoy that. And then along the fence, you'll see a lot of bushes and trees and right there in the corner is my one and only cherry tree and then raspberry, uh, apple, raspberry, apple. So basically after the cherry tree, that's the order it goes. It goes apple, cherry, apple, cherry. And we are definitely growing some apples and I'm really looking forward to them growing bigger and juicier as the summer kind of progresses. And I'm hopeful that uh, we'll be able to eat one because last year the squirrels actually ended up getting to all of them. But this year it definitely looks promising for sure. 
here's some apples. I think we have like three different varieties, but there's some apples right here that are looking a little bit bigger um, and definitely promising. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, this is uh, pretty much our garden. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, leave a suggestion in the comments as to what you'd like to see and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have a great day.